26 years ago, a freshman congressman, a young fellow, with lots of idealism who was out to change the world, stood before Sam Rayburn in the well of the house and solemnly swore to the same oath that all of you took yesterday. An unforgettable experience, and I congratulate you all. Two days later, that same freshman stood at the back of this great chamber, over there someplace, as President Truman, all charged up by his single-handed election victory, reported as the Constitution requires on the State of the Union. When the bipartisan applause stopped, President Truman said, I am happy to report to the 81st Congress that the State of the Union is good. Our nation is better able than ever before to meet the needs of the American people and to give them their fair chance in the pursuit of happiness. It is foremost among the nations of the world in the search for peace. Today, that freshman member from Michigan stands where Mr. Truman stood. And I must say to you, that the State of the Union is not good. Millions of Americans are out of work. Recession and inflation are eroding the money of millions more. Prices are too high and sales are too slow. This year's federal deficit will be about $30 billion. Next year's probably $45 billion. The national debt will rise to over $500 billion dollars. Our plant capacity and productivity are not increasing fast enough. We depend on others for essential energy. Some people question their government's ability to make hard decisions and stick with them.